morning everyone, welcome back to another video. We are another day in LA, it's currently Thursday. Like I said in the previous vlog, we're gonna do a weekend vlog now, which I'm really, really excited for. Me and Zaf are feeling like, we're not feeling like worse for wear. Again, we didn't drink much last night, but I think we're just like tired today. So we've come for breakfast, but I have woken up starving Marvin as per usual. Um, but we actually went and saw a Airbnb for Zaf this morning, just because we're really spending so much time out here so soon, which is so much fun, so exciting, very proud of the girl. And yeah, so we're gonna have some breakfast. I think I'm gonna go for the butcher's wrap. We're at the butcher, the baker and cappuccino maker I want to say it's just on Sunset Boulevard Boulevard that word actually icks me out yeah it just makes me feel funny I don't really know why this is so aesthetic and I absolutely love it breakfast is served I ended up going for a bacon egg and cheese sandwich I'm so excited for this Oh my God. Just in CVS, and the one thing I love about America is that you can get Alani in the store. Honestly, they're my favorite. Um, I've just found all the Crest stuff, so I'm actually gonna try and see if I can find the whitening strips. I've seen so many people talk about them, and I've never tried them, but always wanted to. Just seen these, honestly. This snack mix is the best thing you'd ever have in your entire life. It's so yum. Okay, so this is all the aftermath of a video that me and Seth just filmed. We tried crumble cookies for the first time. I did a whole TikTok on it, so if you wanna go and watch that, watch that. But honestly, if you ever come to LA, try crumble cookies. Oh my God, these are the best cookies I think we've ever had in our entire life. So I'm not even just saying that. These are incredible like we don't have anything like this in the uk absolutely nothing oh, oh sorry mm -hmm. these beautiful <gasps> things are mm -hmm. hello from two sleepy girls we're actually dragging ourselves to dinner just so we can say that we've gone out this evening sad or um sad or brunch we invite it's called rodeo you're hilarious you're rude jokes jk jk still rolling so we're gonna go grab some food now. <laughs> jk rolling so let's go A play. Definitely a lot of character here. <laughs> this is exactly what I needed. We've also been given some scones. I really don't know how I feel about these at all. Oh my god, look at this food. So I've got loaded potato skins, which looks so yum. And Sam's got a hell of a lot of crazy videos. Good morning, everyone. It's another day in LA. I will say, the sun actually looks like it's out right now. It keeps teasing us coming in and out because it is not warm. So it's a load of building works going on right now. We're just in the dark. Libby's song came out last night, so it's all we've been singing this morning. I love to lie, lie. Yeah. The crossroads here, like they're so complicated. But basically, just walking over to Pink Dot, which is a little like convenience store opposite our hotel, but it's so cute. And then they have so much like food that I just always want to eat. Today, we're gonna head over to Rodeo because I've never been down there, so we're really excited. I'm expecting bougie. So I think Seth's just getting a drink. I might grab some water. Okay, so we just got to a place called The Real Real, which is basically a load of like vintage designer, which is like mine and Seth's like favorite thing in the entire world. Also, I have a really weird obsession with really small bags. I just think they're the cutest things ever. Look at this Chanel. I'm sorry, this is absolutely stunning. This whole entire store is so incredible there's just so much of it seen anything that's caught your eye sure. <laughs> we're now just going into glossier okay so we've just come in at two it smells this because apparently on like everyone's ph it smells different and we can confirm it genuinely smells different it's very interesting maybe not a scent that i love but that's just so cool that it can smell different on every single person such a cute little store i can't say i've ever tried anything from glossier though like i don't really know what's good and what's what okay so we just got to rodeo drive and it is actually everything you could imagine like it's just so aesthetic obviously we've got Chanel there and it's just all the palm trees, all the expensive places. Definitely a lot of window shopping today, which is always fun, which I'm always, always up for. I love window shopping, like I really do. But equally, me and Saf were also saying this. We feel like there hasn't really been anything in the stores that we've been like dying to get. You I just don't I mean? know. We just love vintage stuff. I think that's the thing. Like all of the yeah. new stuff that comes out, it's just a bit meh. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I think I'm about to do something really silly, but my excuse is that it's my birthday next month and I haven't spent like, well not that I need to spend a good sum of money, but like I haven't bought anything for myself in a really long time in a sense that I haven't done any designer shopping in probably like over a year, which I'm quite proud about. Oh, like I do feel really fortunate that I can like do this if I want to. I'm just really scared because I haven't like made a big purchase in a while, but honestly this little bag I'll show you now, it is a little bag. Like I am, it's really not practical, but it's just like the cutest thing ever. Like it's, it's a birthday bag. Seth's just trying on a load of shades. There's also a pair of heels at Seth. They are gorgeous. I really want them. They're I want so you to try them on. I want you to try them on. That's the thing when I start buying things. I'm like, Seth, when you can buy I things know. as well. <laughs> These are the shoes that Saf's thinking about getting. Doing a bad, bad thing, but we live once. 
Okay, so we've just come up for a little bit of lunch. After making our purchase, I will show you the purchase um, at some point. It was just, oh, I did a bad thing, but it was a good thing, because it's my birthday coming up, and that's my excuse. Saf also ended up picking up some sunglasses, and there was a pair of shoes that she really enjoyed, but we're gonna go and look at the other Prada for her size. Now we've just come to a place called Avra. Um, the guy actually at Prada recommended it. It's like a little Greek place, but we're actually meeting up with Rock and Jesse, so I'm really excited to see them, um, so I haven't seen them in a little while, so yeah. Oh my God, this actually looks insane. All the food's come. We've got truffle fries, which smell amazing, and I I've got myself a little chicken meze. Bye girlies. <laughs> a very quick re get ready later. Very quick. Literally very quick. I think I did my makeup within possibly 10 minutes. But my makeup from today was so deteriorating. I look extremely tall also right now because I've got my boots on and stuff. Hasn't got her shoes on yet, but we're literally heading out in. Oh, please give me 10 minutes, please, I beg. Apparently 10 minutes because we're actually heading to a Clippers game this evening, which is, well, we were really confused. We said we really want to go to a basketball bane just like for the atmosphere and obviously like Saf said that they're absolutely incredible. I have no experience, one, blah, blah, blah. But obviously, so Lakers are playing Tuesday or Monday or something like that. It's the day that I fly or like something like that. So as much as we would have loved to have seen a Lakers game, we're going to go and see a Clippers game. But it's actually that Clippers and Lakers are apparently the same, the division, same division, which makes no sense to me. Like how so can you have two like, teams? We thought that the Clippers would be like a division below. Yeah, it, I don't understand how it works, but nonetheless, it should be really good fun. Obviously, I've never been to this kind of environment, so I'm really, really excited. We've literally just got dressed. I'm basically wearing the same exact thing. I've just chucked some boots on, um, so we're hoping to maybe go out for a little few drinks afterwards. But yeah, we had such an amazing day. Gonna have to do a little unboxing tomorrow of what I bought. Here we are. Such a long Uber ride, so we're definitely yeah, ready for this. Ride. See if this works. Oh. <laughs> cheers, girlie. Cheers, cheers. Currently in the game. I've never experienced this before, it's so cool in general. But all I can all the selling through my head is you know I just see people just fell over. But I don't know if anyone's seen the Looney Tunes film, but the one with LeBron James and this is cool. This is reminding me of it, it's so weird. Okay, so you just grab some food and it's so funny that you come on these little trays. So these guys are all from different fraternities, which is so, so cool. This is just something else. Woohoo! And good morning. Oh, is there something on my lens? And good morning, everyone. We have had such a chilled out morning, but the sun is out and I'm so, so excited. I am in a sweater because I do think that it's not going to be that warm outside, but I've got shorts on. We end up staying, I think we got in at like half one, but we weren't like drinking loads. The football, the football game, the basketball game was actually incredible. Like it was so fun. And I was saying this to Seth, like, why have we not got more sports like that in the UK in the sense that, yeah, we have basketball, but like just the way that they lay it out in the sense that like, obviously you've got all their breaks, but in between the breaks, like little shows and interactive games and then they've got the screens and it's just so much fun like I don't like watching sports but I thoroughly enjoyed that last night like it was so fun we basically then came back and ended up going um to a Dobrik's pizza party which was really cool which kind of like led on to a like club situation but we didn't really stay there for too long I think we were just again like we were so tired and we did drink in the day and it was so fun but it just then gets really cold and then we just didn't want to drink more so we still had a really nice time and nonetheless got back in at half one so yeah we've just been very sleepy this morning but Seth's actually heading out to another acting class this morning which is so cool i think i'm gonna head over to aritzia because basically i am still dreaming about this hoodie that i really wanted to pick up equally because all of my hoodies are so trashed literally just from sweating in them going to dance in them like all of them are just gross like that's all i can say so i'm gonna go and get a new hoodie that i've really been eyeing up but equally so i did obviously said that i would share what i picked up yesterday and oh my god i absolutely love this so much it's the cutest little thing it's definitely like a very small like little statement number that i feel like i can jazz up like kind of like really plain outfits with but i just i couldn't not it was too cute so here she is okay this is her she's so diddy but oh my god i am so entirely obsessed i think this is called like a um there's a, i know there's a special name for this kind of like um style of toggle it's something cowboy related it might be a cowboy type i might be completely wrong but i just thought that this was so cute to kind of like jazz up any outfit i would wear it like across the body and of course like i am an avid gold gold jeweler oh i love it it is so so stinking cute and i'm so so happy i ended up getting her i feel like i can just style it all year round it's just so cute and that's the thing i am an 
extra person wearing. Imagine if I was just wearing like a really basic outfit and then this just little sequin bad boy. So cute. So I've been in like a very super lucky girl this morning, which I'm so, yeah, I just feel really grateful for it. But like I said, we are gonna head out, little solo trip. I wanna go to Maurizio. I also wanna go to CVS and get some more fake tan because I don't have any with me, but it is kind of deteriorating. And I'm thinking like, because I've obviously only got one day in between Tokyo, da da da, I can either leave it until I get back, but I just don't feel cute at the, like right now. So yeah, and then we'll also pick up some lunch. I'm really fancying sushi. I haven't had any sushi this trip. Um, Saf isn't a big fish fan, which is so fine, but I'm craving my sushi and I need my sushi fix. Okay, so said bye to Saf. I just got to the grove now. I'm literally gonna head straight into Aritzia. I don't really wanna do any more shopping. I feel like we've done so much shopping, but I do really, really want this just like one track suit that I've seen. I think also this evening we're meant to be doing like a movie night with a friend. So I just, I would love to have a fresh clean comfies for that. Okay, so just pick yourself up a mattress straw matcha strawberry iced thing. I've never tried this before and I'm actually obsessed, like I love it. Also I keep getting really scared to film in public, but then I literally remember like, it's LA. Do you know what I mean? Like if there's a place where I talk to a camera, it's probably normal, it's probably here. I actually can't with all these little dogs, they're so cute. Honestly, LA is so colorful, I bloody love it. Okay, it's so loud in here, so do forget. I literally actually just kind of out for lunch by myself and like a place called The Butcher's Daughter. Um, and honestly, well, I actually went to a great white and I do really want to eat there. Basically turned up and it was such a lively place like looks so great that everyone's in like really big groups and tables so I was like this maybe isn't the vibe to solo eat so I've come to the butcher store and I'm sat at the bar and it's so so good and cute and here there's so many dogs running around um so yeah I'm really not sure what I want to eat though because there's so much I'd actually eat on this menu just trying this and oh my god it's actually so yummy like normally I don't really like like prebiotic-y like type situation drinks but this is so good like the strawberry vanilla flavor is amazing Camera be eating first. This is like the best egg sandwich I've ever seen in my entire life. This is so, so yummy. I have taken the avocado out of it just because the cold and the warm wasn't mixing together. But look at that for a sandwich. Okay, so I am all full. Oh my God. And I'm literally just going to head back to the hotel. I feel like Saf should be finishing up probably by the time that I get back. I think it's going to be probably like a 25 minute walk, but it's just like so nice to be out. And to be fair, it's actually gotten, we're meant to be doing a hike, but because of our evening plans, I don't know if we'd actually have time to. But regardless, I think we're actually doing a Malibu hike tomorrow, which will be really, really fun. So I haven't been over to Malibu yet, so that should be great. It sounds so strange, but I just love walking in new places. Like I feel like, I feel like I really just entertain myself and just kind of like stare at everything. I would actually be okay solo traveling, you know? And like things like this and like days like this kind of make me want to in a really weird way. Like I feel really fortunate in the sense that obviously being in a relationship, if I was to go somewhere where like, I don't know, my friends didn't really want to, like I know he'd go with me. But I don't know, like I do really enjoy my own company. Like don't get me wrong, I feel like it probably would get lonely at times but I think sometimes it is just like nice to kind of like be out be in your own thoughts I also love people watching so much I'm gonna have to quickly look at my maps though because I have no idea where I'm going right now okay and we are back I am so beyond sweaty from that little walk back honestly our hotel is located at the top of the hill so when you do that walk coming back like going going into like Melrose in that area cool fine coming back that was a struggle but it was a good like good half an hour walk which was really nice thought I quickly just show you the bits and bobs I did pick up. Found a body exfoliator, found a mitt, which I'm gonna do with this evening, but I am actually gonna have a shower in a bit, get this out of my hair, um, and then I'll just fake tan later on this evening. It's so nice outside, like it's so beautiful, honestly. The difference the weather makes. So basically from Aritzia, I ended up picking, they have the best basics ever. Like it is honestly such, it's just so good. And I feel like I've spoken about this on this vlog before, so you're probably like Imogen, come on, like move on next thing. But I did end up picking up one of these tops. It's extremely long line. And that is what I absolutely love about this is I feel like over a nice pair of jeans, I feel like it's so flattering. It's also completely double lined. So you just know that it's like so, like so thick and such great quality. And then I also did pick up a little gray one. This is kind of like a skims dupe because it's like all the ribbed soft material. So I also did pick up that. And then of course I picked up the white set. So I got the shorts. I actually ended up getting them in a medium so that they could, the shorts were coming up very just like tight. So I kind of wanted like more of a boxier fit. And then of course, I got the hoodie, which I think obviously if we do movie night this evening, I will end up wearing. I just need to make sure that I either, well, this is the thing. So do with a white hoodie, obviously I wanna keep it fresh, wanna keep it clean, which I know that I can do. And again, like I know probably should be colored to buy, but here we are. I just loved it so much. But yeah, so that's the thing. So is it smart to do your makeup and then try and wrangle on the hoodie? 
but then you might risk it getting around the collar or do you put the hoodie on and then do your makeup but then what if your foundation falls down it because oh my god foundation i thought that you could get foundation out of clothes you really can't like you actually can't i think it's because there's like oils and things in there that just makes it impossible to remove so yeah i'm gonna quickly jump in the shower literally redo my whole entire face makeup but at this point i can actually do a makeup in 10 minutes and i'm quite proud just having a little pick me up i love alani's so much we do have them in the uk but it's like kind of like hard to find them in certain stores and yes i have seen the alani tiktok about the rack and it still hasn't put me off them i think it's because like i don't know a lot of these times you see things on the internet someone has faked it someone has edited it or I just also don't want to believe it's true. Equally, I haven't picked up the flavor of that can for a very specific reason, just in case it is true, which I definitely don't think it is. I've also seen so many TikToks from like Americans and they've been like, don't worry, Alani, like we'll still love you. Like it's such a good drink that I think even if that was the case, people would look past it, which is really quite bad. This is one of the new ones. This is in the flavor blue slush. Um, it's Whitney Simmons. I think she has another one of theirs as well as like a collaboration, but it is literally like a blue slushy that has melted. And you know, when you get all like all the liquid at the, at the bottom, that is one thing that, you know, when you go to like Cineworld or something, you get the um, slushies. For a starter, I only get the blue one i'm not fussed about the red one but i always like them to like melt because i just like the taste i like the sugar i like the liquid the whole icy thing like i don't love ice drinks but yeah i'm rambling so i'm gonna be in the shower okay, so today has very much escalated in the sense that we south came back and then we basically wanted to go for like a little bit of food and this isn't in focus at all shock i love this camera so much um and basically we kind of said that we wanted to go for a little bit of food so we were gonna go for a little bit of food we then we then went to a place called harrods which is actually in our hotel um however when we got up there huge vibe yeah. massive vibe there's us in our <laughs> in my acting lesson, we do method acting, so like I have to drink. Um, I was playing a drunk oh, character. Oh my god, I can't include <laughs> this. Either way, we're actually now off to get changed so that we look a little bit more of the part. And then we're gonna go back drinking, but it's such a vibe up there, like the music's so good. Major, 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 major quick change later. Ready to hit the town. Good morning, everyone. I wasn't feeling too fresh this morning when we woke up. We did end up going out drinking last night. We literally went to the vibiest place. I'll insert any clips if I have, but I actually don't think I filmed anything because we had such a nice time. And yeah, so we went to this rooftop that's actually in our hotel, which was the first time we were going, which is like, why didn't we know about this sooner? Because the music was just unreal. Like it was so good. Ended up going to this little after party it was so fun. But to be fair, we were back, I want to say before 12. I think it was just because we were actually probably drinking from like five, which meant that I haven't woken up with an awful hangover this morning. Like I didn't feel too fresh, but she's had her porridge. She's gotten ready, we're ready to go. We're actually gonna go and do the Hollywood hike this morning, which I'm so excited for. We just said that we wanna get out there, do some walking. It's really sunny today, but I don't think it's gonna be super warm. So I've just chucked on a little Gymshark set, brown leggings, just so I can obviously keep myself a little bit warm. And yeah, I'm probably gonna film on my iPhone camera because my camera camera is quite heavy. I think we're maybe gonna try and grab like an iced coffee or something to take with us. But yeah, let's go. Okay, so we just made it to the hike. Saffron has taken us the wrong way. Joking. This we're it. we're, we're it. on the right thing now, we think. We made it. Well, what? That's it. Oh, you're funny. But basically our Uber driver up here, like me and Saffron said, driving through the hills. So That's twisty, sick. tiny. Like if you suffer with car sickness like myself, it's so bad. Also Saffron doesn't suffer and she gets car sick. But that driver, like, I don't understand how he was even making the car do what the car was doing. It was so, like, stoppy started, like, jolting. Still feeling a little bit sick, but excited. Okay, so <laughs> I haven't filled this vlog in, but basically me and Seth were walking up this hill. We're thinking, okay, like, we're going the right way. Hollywood Summit, like, yeah, that's gonna be it. Walking the right way. And then we basically come up through these trees, look to our right. And this is our view? Yeah. That over there is the Hollywood sign. And we're over here. But so we're now literally just gonna follow through. So we've been walking yeah, for, <laughs> we've been walking for. Keep going long enough, you might follow through. An hour and a quarter. And we are actually yeah. losing it, like it's not okay. On the other hand though, this is really pretty. You can always roll down the hill on a road. <laughs> okay, so we've made it to somewhere. Plus side, it's absolutely cool. Don't, don't know where we're going to walk into.
the breakfast pizza sounds incredible. So you just come to Beachwood Cafe for some like well, lunch now. Oh, honestly, I'm so excited for this. I've been so hungry. The walk was great. It was like we just said it was funny. Like it was so funny. Definitely went the wrong way, but I think we actually probably got more out of it. Food has come. I ended up going for the breakfast burrito, and I'm actually so happy about my decision because it smells so good. Hands down, the best breakfast burrito I've ever ever had. Like genuinely best. best no best breakfast. Best breakfast breed. Okay, so we've just finished having food and oh my god, we're so, so beautiful and stuff. Um, but it was so, so yummy, honestly. So good. Also, I didn't, I feel like I didn't mention it at all, so it was Beachwood Cafe, um, which is obviously like Harry's Master Song, and obviously it will be from that. Um, we're now just heading over to the... I love you. so good. singing it now, guys. We're now heading over to... We're going to go to the bus. Heading over to the Melrose Trading Post. <laughs> <laughs> well, very last minute because we're actually going to head back to the hotel. But Sasha kind of said she wants to pick up some really cool pieces, jewellery wise, for Coachella. And I said that I kind of really wanted to go. So we're going to squeeze it in today. Okay, so it did a little bit of damage. I'll show you what we got when we get back. Only now I just realised how big this entire place is. We call it, oh yeah, like really small little market. No, it's humongous. Honestly, such a vibe in the sun though. There's so much going on. It's so, so cute. Yeah. Look at the flu. You having so much fun, doll? <laughs> It's the fact okay. that the shopkeeper gave Saf like a big plastic bag instead. Oh my god, stop. If I was going to Coachella, you would literally just go here and shop the entire day, yeah, all of your outfits. Would. And to finish our little shopping experience, we've come for Me, some ice cream. Again. Oh my god, it just smells no, unreal in here. Like, no. like just baked cookies, yeah. but like so yum. Right, so Saf went for cinnamon and banana bread. I went for banana bread and cookie dough, I've never honestly. Anything like it Such that. unusual flavors in there as well. Like I knew we went for the more basic ones, but this is unreal. Whilst on the other hand, Sephora <laughs> just <laughs> split her spoon. Oh my god, my fake tan is so bad. It's coming off tonight, guys, I promise. Just thought I'd quickly show you what we picked up from Melrose. Honestly, we had the nicest afternoon. <laughs> it's also been one of those days where we've actually been delirious. I feel like I've spoken this this whole trip. I don't know why. When you put me and Saf together for too long, we love each other, but we just go crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I actually found this on the way out, and it's a little pink gummy bear, and I thought it was so, so beautiful on cute it's coming up quite white on camera but it's very like baby pink but i also really liked this chain i don't have a chain like it and i just felt like i could probably like change it with a few different things as well we didn't expect anything going to this market but it was so so good i then picked up one of these rings which i just think is just the coolest little piece like i'm fully obsessed and it fully works i mean it's quite chunky but i feel like styled cool it's so sick next up i picked up this beaded necklace i'm in love with this one I've got my Dango, haven't I? Also then it picked up this gold little star chain. Really, really simple, but I don't have anything like it. I just loved all of these chains. Like even the little details on them, clasp bit, it's just so cute. Then this is the last one that I picked up. I feel like the red in it could be such a cute pop of color like with certain outfits, but I just loved all of them because I feel like I can layer all of these and it's just gonna look so nice. So that is everything I did pick up. Saffron picked up even more, like so much. I think you got very excited. Okay, and just like that, this trip has come to the end. So we spent the morning in the gym just getting a quick little session done before I came back, showered. And now it's time to say goodbye to this lovely lady. Aww. The thing is, though, is I can't even hug now because I've just put white on and you just put suntan she lotion put on. on. She put sun oil on. So we're <laughs> going to leave that as it is. But I hope you did enjoy this video. We're really sad to be leaving each other. But equally, the Japan vlogs will be the next videos that are coming. So I will see you in the next one. Make sure to comment, subscribe, like down below. And yeah.